Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another reading vlog. But this isn't just any reading vlog, my friends, nay. This is a romance reading vlog, which I am so excited about. This is 100% because of Valentine's Day. I love Valentine's Day. Something else that might happen is I might talk about my wedding in this video because it happened. It happened, my friends, I got married and it was the most romantic, beautiful day of my entire life. It also poured rain on our wedding day. Um, and that was not to plan, okay? That was not to code. I might share some photos of my wedding dress. I might share some visuals. Why visuals? No, I might just show you, physically show you my wedding shoes because Cinderella called, she wants her fucking shoe back. You know what I mean? Anyway, those are some things we're gonna try to do. We're celebrating Valentine's by reading romance and also being romantic and that's what I'm all about. So, but now let's pick our first romance. And the reason why we're starting now is because I have Kindle Unlimited up on my phone and I have already started choosing a couple that I think might be fun to read right now. So some of my options, we have Forever Never by Lucy Score. This is the author that wrote, whoa, what was that? wrote, she wrote Things You Never Got Over and another book called Buy a Thread, which I just read last month. And I actually thought was really fun. It was steamy and there was romance in it. And that was on Kindle Unlimited. Anyway, that is an option, Forever Never. I wanna read Love Light Farms, but it is Christmas themed. And so I feel like I kind of missed my moment with that one this year. And then there's a last one called Does It Hurt, which has this like woman, with a lighthouse in her head. Okay, here's the deal. I have been looking at Kindle Unlimited for like 10 minutes now and haven't chosen anything. So I'm going to let you go. And once I've chosen something, I will update you on what I've chosen and how far I am and we will take it from there. But I hope you all like this vlog. Here we go. Hello, my loves. Hey, maybe that's how I should start each clip with another tier, term of endearment. That's cute, right? That's fucking cute. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I spent a long time trying to find a book that really caught my interest and I landed on King of Wrath, which I started. And um, let, let, let me read you the synopsis real quick. Hold on. She's the wife he never wanted and the weakness he never saw coming. Ruthless, meticulous, arrogant, Dante Russo thrives on control both personally and professionally. The billionaire CEO never planned to marry until the threat of blackmail forces him into an engagement with a woman he barely knows. Vivian Lau, jewelry, heiress, and daughter of his newest enemy. So we've got a little bit of a uh, arranged marriage trope going on, which is personally a trope I don't think I've ever read from. I think I've seen a movie with it, but it's not a, it hasn't been a selection on the reading list before. So when I was going through all the options, I was like, let's not do just an enemies to lovers. Let's not just do a small town romance. Let's do something we've never tried before. And so far, I mean, I'm on like chapter four, so it's new, but so far I'm already a little captivated. I think Vivian's gonna be a really fun leading lady to read. So excited about that. And I'm just excited to try out this new trope and see if I liked the arranged marriage type of genre, subgenre, if you will. Anyway, it is 6.45 and now we're going to watch The Last of Us. We are behind a week, so we actually have two episodes to check in on or watch. And it's already been spoiled for my husband. <laughs> what? Weird to say it, right? It's weird to say it. Anyway, yeah, he got it spoiled, but I didn't. So I have no idea what's gonna happen in these episodes. I'm excited about it, but I probably won't read anything else tonight. But happy, happy Monday, my friends. Have a lovely, lovely night. 
and I will check in with you tomorrow with a reading update and a new sweet nickname. Unless I forget, which I hope I don't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Love you all. Good night. Good morning, my sweet cherubs. That's your sweet name for the day. I got to chapter 14 this morning. We just got our first bit of steam and it was pretty good. It's pretty good. That was pretty good. Nothing wrong with it. It reminded me a lot of the movie Atonement. If you've seen Atonement, then you might know what I'm talking about. Anyway, <laughs> as for like the actual romance side of it, that hasn't really happened yet because the main guy does not want to fall in love at all and he's an asshole. So that hasn't happened at all. I have to go to work now. Thankfully, I don't have any meetings today. Although I do have jury duty. Yesterday I was summoned and they said, check back at 11 a.m. I checked back. They said, check back at 5 p.m. They said, great, check back tomorrow at 11 a.m. And I'm like, how many days can you lead me on until you just let me off the hook? Because I don't wanna do jury duty. <laughs> so just like, let me go, right? You, all day yesterday I was waiting for it. I'm all about romanticizing the little moments in life, you know? <laughs> That's why I have 50 mugs for my coffee in the morning. But when I don't want coffee, I still want to drink my energy drinks out of something special. <laughs> so I've been drinking my energy drinks out of these champagne flutes. <laughs> or I guess these aren't flutes, but these like champagne glasses. These were the glasses that were used at my bridal shower, but they were rentals at my bridal shower. So my aunt went and found the actual cups, glasses, and she got them for me. That felt like a crime to call this a cup. Anyway, you might think it's a little over the top and I'd agree with you, it probably is, but something about just making life a little more special, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Bottoms up, let's see how it tastes. Oh my God. <laughs> That is good. <laughs> okay, that is good. Hold on. They taste like the, not that I was eating these last night, but they taste like the Sour Patch Kid peaches. These are newer, I think, and I've really been loving them. But that's what these taste like, so I feel like I'm having candy in the middle of the day. Anyway, my last update of the morning is that we did watch episode three of The Last of Us. No spoilers, but I sobbed. <laughs> I sobbed. It's a very, very emotional episode and the sad part started and I actually went, oh fuck. And then I just started crying. Anyway, time to get to work, friends. I'm gonna drink this and I'm gonna go to work and then I will read later. Happy Tuesday. Hello? Hello, my sweet little strawberries. I'm here again to give you an update. Um, what chapter am I on? Let's see together, my loves. Chapter 25, oh my God. I'm reading at the speed of light, my friends. This one, it's just fun, you know what I mean? We are getting some romance elements. We're also getting a little bit of a love triangle going on, which I was not expecting, but I've been looking for love triangle books and this is a pleasant surprise, because again, was not expecting it but had been looking for it. Love it. And now I'm going to clean my rings. Hey, I thought I'd do that with you. So I deep clean my rings at least once a week, sometimes twice a week, <laughs> because I'm obsessive about it. But also I just, I have a peacock sapphire, so it's kind of greenish blue. And it, to me, it's really obvious when it starts to get kind of cloudy and just not as shiny or sparkly. So I use this new gadget. It is the, <laughs> hold on. I got this from my mom for my bridal shower, which was so sweet, but you basically just put some hot water in there and a couple of other things. Let me, let me grab them for you. A couple of drops of Dawn dish soap, the blue kind. I don't know why that's specific, but this is how I've learned to do it. And then, Windex. Now, why is it in a tub? 
well, before I had this, I just would mix Dawn and Windex in here. So there's leftover Windex in here and that's why it's in a Tupperware. <laughs> um, but there's like this little basket and you take your rings off or whatever jewelry, you put it in the little basket, then you fill this thing with water, soap and Windex and then you let it clean for a while. But you basically like turn it on and then it just vibrates. <laughs> to like shift the dust and the dirt out of it. And then I usually take a soft toothed toothbrush, this one from Target, and you like scrub it very, very lightly just to get any extra residue off. So I'm gonna start this thing, check in with you later, talk to you soon. You are now staring at not my face, but I'm behind the camera to, <laughs> to wash my rings with you, to show you the process, and also give you a little sneak peek at the rings. Why not? I have three rings and we're gonna do a little close up of them because <laughs> it sounded fun. Also, my dog's right behind me and she just yawned. So, and also Parker, my other dog is sitting to your left and he is snoring. So anyway, I'm gonna open this bad dog up and I'm gonna take them out of their little bathtub. But we're not gonna get rid of the liquid yet because we're gonna use that for a little bit of scrubbage. So we'll place them here. I can't see what I'm grabbing. <laughs> so we're gonna grab, Oh, actually no, let's grab, we're grabbing the actual wedding band first. So this doesn't actually need to be cleaned because it's just a gold band. So. We're gonna let it soak in the water for a second. Next, we'll grab the green one. This is my engagement ring. Why can I not grab it? Where is it? Okay, there it is. So this is my engagement ring. I haven't done like a close up of it before. Hey, anyway, we're gonna grab some of this. We take our toothbrush, we put it back here in the Dyson Windex solution. Get the toothbrush wet. This is intimate, isn't it? <laughs> and there we have it. Look at her. Now we will do the final band, which is my stacking band. It is this gorgeous, like vine looking band. And it is everything I've ever wanted. So same thing. For this one, actually what we're gonna do is scrub under it because that's where the like where the residue builds up, you can't really see it, but we're gonna do some light scrubbing on the top, but really what we're gonna try to do is the underbelly. Okay, we've rinsed that one enough. We're gonna dry these off. I'm gonna grab my actual wedding band. This is the stack. Ready? So first we have the wedding band. It's engraved on the inside and it's what we exchanged. Boom. Then we take the engagement ring. That is our second one. And then lastly, we take this gorgeous little vine leafy ring. So there it is, my friends. That is the stack and it means the world to me. So anyway, that's it. That's the cleaning process. Back to reading. Hello everyone. It was an incredibly busy day today, so I haven't updated you. It's the end of Wednesday, and it was actually so busy today that I didn't have time for the gym in the morning. And usually I go to the gym early enough where I have plenty of time before anything I need to do, but that's how much I had to do this morning. Anyway, so I didn't go to the gym, which means I didn't read there, and then it's been so busy that I haven't read at all during the day, but that changes now. That changes now, my friends. I am on 28 of King of Wrath, and so I'm 63% done. So it would be cool if I could finish tonight, but I don't think I'm going to. Like, I just don't think I have enough time to finish it tonight. Um, but that's what I'm reading. I was also going to go buy the physical copy of Tessa Bailey's new book, um, Secretly Yours, I think. Um, but I, I'm not going to after all, just because every time I read a Tessa Bailey, I have a lot of fun 
but then I never need to like own the book after. I always just prefer to have her books as digital copies. So I'm just gonna buy the ebook online and then read it on my Kindle. That's what I'm gonna do, but that can wait. I'm gonna finish King of Wrath before I start anything else. Also, just cause we're sitting here, I got the Dior Lip Glow Oil for Christmas this year. Let me show you how it looks on, cause it is really something special. The applicator is really stunning. And then look at that, are you kidding? It is like hydrating and juicy. Doesn't it? It's like, it's not a lot. It's just a slight tint and a little bit of gloss. But I think it looks good. Okay, I'm gonna go read now. Love you all. Check in later to give you a status update. Good morning, everyone. You're not seeing me. Not yet, at least. Hi. Good morning, it is time for work and I'm gonna pour my energy drink into a fancy cup. Today I'm drinking out of a Christmas themed spaghetti factory cup that you get when you buy an Italian cream soda. Not that I did that. Mmm, today's flavor is dropsicle. Uh, it is Thursday. And I just got off a call with my boss. We had a great talk. I got a really cool update about work. So I am feeling energized. Today I did cardio and back and back days are some of my hardest days, but also some of the most productive days. So I'm feeling great about that. And I've read a bit more of King of Wrath. So let's see how far I am. Oh my God, I was almost done. <laughs> Okay, I should have just kept reading. I have 30 pages left, 94% done. And the drama, dra drama, drama is coming to a head. Um, actually, the big bit of drama just happened and now it's kind of that residual snowball drama that's like tying up loose ends. So it's an interesting part of the book. And overall, I like it. It's not a new favorite romance, but it definitely was fun to read for this vlog. I'll wait until I actually finish it to like give full thoughts, but it's been a good little reading experience. And then later today, I'll start the Tessa Bailey romance that I was talking about. I'm very, very excited for it. It looks a little like Valentine wedding deal. Anyway, I have a two hour meeting that starts in 10 minutes. I actually just got the notification for it. This is going to be a long one. It's going to be a long meeting, my friends. <laughs> um, but we do have an energy drink to get us through it. So I'll update you all in a couple hours. I've got 30 pages left on this book. I'll let you know how it all comes together. All right. Love ya. Happy Thursday. Hello, everyone. Hi, it's me. Um, how do I greet you right now for this little romantic vlog? My little rosebuds. Hi, it is the end of Thursday and I haven't updated you since earlier today. Again, another busy, busy, busy day, but all good busyness. You know, it's all been very good busyness. I just said the same sentence twice. Anyway. After work today, I ran to, I didn't actually run, I drove to Michael. Why would you think that I ran? Noel. Anyway, I went to Michael's Craft Supply to pick up some things for a Galentine's Day craft. So I have recently found myself in a very, very sweet trio of girlfriends. We just hang out on the weekends and it's been super, super fun. And so for Galentine's Day, uh, we're gonna see each other on Saturday and we're gonna just have a fun day like going to Santa Cruz and book shopping and everything. But we're gonna do a little mini gift swap. And so one of the gifts I'm giving them are friendship bracelets. But because there's three of us, we've kind of adopted kind of like a Powerpuff Girl vibe. You know, you could call it cliche, you could call it obvious. And I would agree with you, you're right. But because there's three of us, it's like, why not? I went and I got the colors of the heart that like goes behind them, like at the beginning of each episode. 
And so I'm going to make them friendship bracelets with these colors. And I mean, they don't have to wear them as bracelets. They can just put them on their purses or they can throw them in the trash. I mean, I'm not gonna tell them how they should use them. <laughs> so I'm going to either watch something because it's like 6.15 at this point. It's like, okay, you could just watch something or I'm gonna listen to Radiant Sin. I'm almost done with King of Wrath, but I don't have the audiobook for it. So I can't do both things at the same time. So I'm gonna work on this, maybe listen to an audiobook, maybe just watch something, but I will update you on the bracelet making soon. Love you all. Happy Thursday, my little rosebuds and wish me luck with these bracelets. <laughs>
Usually you just get the regular hearts, but they were pink this time, which is super cute. And then for the first time in years and years and years and years and years, I got fruit by the foot. I don't know what came over me. I saw them and I was like, yeah, <laughs> that's happening. Anyway, I'm gonna get into this book, into this Tessa Bailey book. I have the house to myself for the next three hours. So that's my only plan is to just read. And I will let you know how far I get and how the book goes in general and what I'm liking about it, what I'm not liking about it, if I like the main characters, all that stuff. So yeah, all right, love you all. Talk soon. See ya. Hello, my little sweet petunias. Let's take it back to an old classic, an old favorite. Hi, it's Saturday. It's Galentine's Day. They're about to get here, so I have to do this quickly. But um, <laughs> I'm going to pack up their little... Um, you know, they're little Galentine's gift boxes or gift bags. So thought I'd show you what I'm packing in them. Hold on. Okay, hopefully the audio is fine right there. Seems a little weird, but that's fine. So first we have these little Target bags. Hey, cute. And then I have each of their bracelets. And then I got them glasses from our favorite coffee shop. It's called Voyager. Very fun. There's one in blue and one in green. So, and then in each of their cups, one of them is getting the peach Alani new because they like Alani new. And the other one just got an espresso machine. So I'm giving them one of my favorite Nespresso flavors, which is just the double espresso. So that's what they're gonna get in their cup. But anyway, I'm gonna go pack these up. I did wanna show you one thing. I know I said that we would talk about the wedding and then we haven't at all. Um, but I wanted to show you my incredible custom leather jacket. Um, so I already had the jacket, but I commissioned this company called Daily Disco to make the really big patches. So they didn't make, they didn't make Casper, but they made this patch and the sparkles and this moon and a phone and this arrow thing. I'm going to wear this as well as, as well, what's happening? As well as my little heart earrings. And I did my makeup all pink today. So I'm feeling very, very Valentine, but I'm gonna go make these little gift bags cause they're gonna be here in like five minutes. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna get a bunch of B-roll today cause we're going to some really cool places in Santa Cruz. Um, and then I'll check in with you later. I did read more of Secretly Yours and I have thoughts and feelings. So talk to you about them later. Love you all. Happy Saturday. Here's some B-roll. Hello everyone. I got home from Galentine's Day, which the day's not over yet. We still have a movie night, but we're at home for an hour or so. So I'm gonna go back to reading some Secretly Yours. But then on our way home, one of my friends was looking for a book that she couldn't find at either of those bookstores. So we stopped at Barnes and Noble. And at first I was like, I'm not gonna buy anything. And then I bought some stuff. <laughs> so let's talk about it. First of all, in my most recent book haul video, I asked, should I buy the hardback edition of Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow? And everyone said I should, so I did. So I'm gonna read this very soon. Then I picked up Thomas Hardy's From the Maddening Crow. Uh, my mom mentioned this book and I was like, hey, you wanna read it together? And she said, yes. So I found it and I'm excited. Although both of the Hardys I've read were incredibly sad. <laughs> So I am expecting sadness, but we'll see. And then the last one I picked up was Last Chance Books, which look at this cover. The guy works at like a chain, like a Barnes and Noble, but then she works at a used bookstore. And so you can see the difference of the books that they're standing on. 
like his are in great condition and hers are all like cracked spines and well loved. Oh, I love it. I think it's such a cute cover. Um, but it's basically the plot of like, you've got mail. Anyway, so that is what I did today. I was also gifted these glasses, which I am obsessed with, just absolutely obsessed with. I think they are so cute, but um, I did read some of Secretly Yours this morning and I'm enjoying it. It's basically about this, these two people where the girl has been pining after the guy for like 15 years. They like almost kissed in high school and she's like never gotten over it. There's just like, she's always thought about him and always pined after him. And so they're like meeting again 15 years later and he does not remember her. He knows that she looks familiar, but he cannot place her. And so they are, um, there's like been this like kind of weird awkwardness. Cause like, we know that she really, really likes him. And he's like, I'm intrigued by you, but I don't know how I know you. And another thing that I'm liking is that she thinks that he's like super put together, like this total, like handsome guy that has a great job and just has his whole life together. But when you get his perspective, you realize that's not the case. So anyway, I'm enjoying it and it all takes place in Napa. So it's cute and it's like small town and they're gonna like save a small town business together. And yeah, love you all my sweet little moons. Talk to you later. Hello, my sweet little doves and welcome to the end of this video. We're gonna do two things at the end here. We're gonna give you a reading recap because I finished Secretly Yours and then we're also gonna talk a little bit about my wedding. Just a tiny bit, my friends, because I said I would do that and then I feel like I didn't. And that was mainly just because I felt like with every clip, I was thinking, I'll just talk about in the next clip. I'll talk about in the next clip. And then this is the final clip and we have to talk about it. So I have my wedding shoes right next to me and I can't wait to share them with you. But first let's talk about reading. <laughs> so I finished Secretly Yours by Tessa Bailey and um, secretly, it's not a secret because I'm about to say it, but I didn't love it. Unfortunately, it, it just didn't work for me. I think the real reason is just because it felt way too short. So I felt like the characters were interesting and their connection was interesting because we have this like woman that's been pining after this crush of hers since high school and he suffers from panic attacks and major anxiety. And so we have like some really interesting conversations around mental health. And then we also just have like a love story that centers around like pining for someone and hoping it'll work out one day. And so those elements made for an interesting story, but it just felt way too short. So this one felt like, oh wait, we have the bones of a really good story, but then it finishes up way too fast and like the conflict gets resolved far too fast. And so I really liked the bones of the story. I really liked the two main characters and their reasons for not being able to be together. I just wish that we saw that drama play out a little bit longer. So I didn't love it. So a reading vlog that didn't end with two new favorite books, but I was reading romance during Valentine's Day week. And so it was a success, you know what I mean? It was a success, you know? Anyway, that was the reading update. And now let's talk a little bit about the wedding. So we got married this winter. It was the most beautiful, romantic, magnificent day. I know that there's like a wedding criticism where like you shouldn't put so much pressure for your, on your wedding day to be the best day of your life. But mine was, okay, <laughs> mine was. I don't know what else to say. It didn't go according to plan. So basically we had like a complete outdoor wedding and then it stormed our entire wedding day. <laughs> It went from being all outdoor to all indoor, except for our ceremony. And here's a picture of that. It was a downpour, my friends. <laughs> and my dress was soaked, absolutely soaked. I mean like gravel, dirt, mud, rainwater, but it was a dress that I really lived in and was just like seriously the most romantic, beautiful day of my life. I walked down the aisle, listen close, like this is important. I walked down the aisle 
all of our wedding guests, there were 30 of them. So it was a really small wedding. We had 30 people with clear umbrellas storming, right? Pouring down rain. I walked down the aisle too. No other song than Your Hands Are Cold in Pride and Prejudice. I mean, can you think of something more romantic? I literally cannot think of anything more romantic. <laughs> it was the most beautiful, sweet, heartwarming, rainy day of my entire life. And it was everything to me. And to just finish off this little wedding conversation, let me show you my wedding shoes. They're by Betsy Johnson. And I dreamed of these shoes for a year before my wedding, but they are these these incredibly sparkly blue soled shoes. They are all of my shoe dreams come true. One could argue they didn't really match my dress. <laughs> and I'd say you're probably right, but that's how much I love them. I have no regrets about these. They are stunning. They are Cinderella. They are everything I could have ever wanted. So anyway, those are the wedding shoes. And that's a little chat about the wedding in general. I'm sure I'll talk about it more in future vlogs or just like a fully wedding dedicated video, but I wanted to give you a little sneak peek. Loved it. It was everything I could have ever dreamed of and more. So anyway, my friends, that is the video. It was so fun reading some romances this week. I love Valentine's Day. I'm not kidding. It's one of my favorite holidays. I don't care how cheesy it is. It is everything to me. So I hope you felt loved this week, whether it was from a partner, from a best friend, from yourself, from a pet. I just hope that you felt the love and I love you all. Thank you so much for being here and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.